Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Max Bang as always. This is Snobby Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're doing formerly called Wake and Bake. Now it is called Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout, which is just about the most delicious combination of words as I've ever heard. Um, this is kind of cool. This is uh, it, it's two Athens, Georgia companies, Terrapin Brewing and Jittery Joe's. Uh, they they teamed up to make this beer. Um, used to be called Wake and Bake. But I'm guessing because of the, you know, the, the bake part of Wake and Bake that they had to change the name. Um, this is a bottle from 2010, and um, I'm, I'm just ready to start drinking it. Very, very dark, dark black. Um, there was a little bit of a head. Now it's pretty much gone. The head is pretty much gone now, but it was kind of a um, dark color almost you know not like a dark brown but definitely a brown color uh, it's about one peaky and it dissipated pretty quickly from here on out I'm gonna refer to this as wake and bake because I think that's how most people know it um, so the smell on the wake and bake coffee <laughs> it's got a whole bunch of that coffee smell uh, I'm also getting some of that, some, some raisiny kind of smell, uh, a little bit of breadiness in there too. Lots of malt, lots of roasty uh, aromas. Alright, the taste for the Wake and Bake. Um, it's got that coffee flavor, as you would expect. I mean, it is called Wake and Bake, and they advertise the coffee all over it, so <clears throat> obviously it's got coffee in the flavor. However, it's not over the top, um, you know, right in your face coffee. Along with the coffee, <clears throat> it's got a good amount of sweet maltiness uh, and roasty flavors, almost kind of nutty flavors, a uh, little bit of breadiness in there too. The drinkability on this is very high. This is extremely drinkable. It, it's very, very pleasant. There's nothing off-putting about this whatsoever. You know, everything is nice and smooth. All the flavors go together very nicely. I mean, this is this is a really excellent beer. You don't taste any of the alcohol. Um, it's only 8.1%, I believe. Yeah, 8.1%. You don't really taste any of the alcohol. One thing I will say about this beer compared to other Imperial Stouts, uh, this is pretty acidic. Um, it's got this this nice little acidic flavor and, and character in there. But it's also um, it's also nice and crisp, you know. It, it's like I said, it's highly drinkable. It's pretty thick. It's not it's not quite as like you know molassesy thick as as other imperial stouts that I've had. Uh, but it is pretty darn thick for a beer. Um, within the style of imperial stouts, though, this is more on the thinner side, which is funny to call this anywhere close to a thin beer but um it's not that bubbly uh and it's just got a little bit of that um that alcohol warmth all right so the score for the wake and bake by terrapin um gonna go it with a 3.5 on this <clears throat> and um whenever i do the 0.5s i i hate i always hate doing the 0.5s but I always got to explain this. The reason it's not a three is because it's an excellent beer. I mean, it's not that threes are bad, but this this beer is it's approaching the four. I mean, it's very very good. It's a delicious solid beer. Um, it's got <clears throat> all these complex flavors. All these. It's got a great mouth feel. I mean, everything works harmoniously with everything else in the beer. The the reason it's not a four. Uh, is because even though it has all these great characteristics, it's got this wonderful sweet coffee, and um, now I'm tasting a little bit of chocolate, which I know is cheating because I didn't say that in the taste part, but that's irrelevant. Um, it's got all these great f flavors and characters, but it's there's really nothing in it that is like absolutely spectacular. I mean, this isn't like the end-all, be-all Imperial Stout or even coffee Imperial Stout. That being said it's a great beer you know this is <clears throat> I would certainly drink this again and if you see this by all means grab it I mean this is wonderful that wraps it up for the Terrapin coffee oatmeal imperial stout formerly called wake and bake 
Uh, on the bottle right here, it says, when it comes to a morning beverage, why not beer? My dog's right here, and he's he's trying to get on camera once again. He likes to he likes to show up right when I'm doing the the wrap up. But I'm Max Bang. This is snobby beer. You know what to do. Grab a beer. Leave me a comment, and we'll see you next time. Say bye, Nar. Bye.